Hello everyone, welcome to the 20th lesson of our course in the 30 days to powerful vocabulary. This is the 20th lesson in which we are going to further discuss the words you must know for better writing. Right? So, this course is presented by me, Harshita Jain, and I am pursuing my graduation from Delhi University. If you have any sort of questions, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you like this course, do rate and review the course. And if you like this lesson, do recommend it. Here is somewhere the recommend option. And let's begin with the words for today. The first word that we have is analogy. Analogy is a comparison to show similarity between two things. So you need to show similarity between two things. So that is when you use the word analogy. Although the two animals are different, they share a structural analogy in their physical layouts. Okay, so the two animals are different, but they share a structure analogy in their physical layouts. And the synonyms are correlation, parallelism, and resemblance so there's a bit correlation there's a bit parallelism and there's a bit resemblance so you can also use these words in place of analogy and if you have been using these words you can use analogy in place of them the next word is antebellum which means during the time before the american civil war the Pre-American Civil War period is known as Antebellum. The Antebellum period in America was a time of conflict as the nation was being divided by the issue of slavery. Right? So this is how you use Antebellum. The next word is Antithesis. Antithesis is the total opposite of an object or person. So contradictory. In the movie, Robert's character of abusive husband is the antithesis of the caring spouse the actor really is. So in the movie, he is shown as an abusive husband, which is completely contradictory to his actual life nature. And the synonyms are inverse and contradictory. The next word is aplomb, which means self-confidence or assurance, especially when in a demanding situation. The sentence that we have is, because the negotiator handled the hostage situation with aplomb, self-confidence, the kidnapper released everyone without harm. So simple enough, because the negotiator handled the situation with self-confidence the kidnapper released everyone without harm so this is how you use the word aplomb poise self-assurance and self-confidence are the relative synonyms and i keep saying this that i never say or ask you to use exactly in the same place just keep in mind i also tell you some relative synonyms so they cannot be placed exactly where the word previous main word is placed they they're kind there can be a sort of difference between some synonyms so don't blindly use any synonym at the same place now the next word is juxtaposition the fact that two things being seen or placed close together with contrasting effect that is where we use the word juxtaposition what impressed me most about this song was its juxtaposition of country and classic soul fine enough so what impressed me most about the song was its closeness with the country and classic soul proximity nearness and collocation are the three synonyms now again look at this example proximity is still very much close 
but leonis in collocations cannot be used as similar as this sentence because they differ a little okay so don't use synonyms exactly just put a little effort in understanding the meaning of the word and then use them the last word is loquacious which means tending to talk a great deal or talkative somebody who's really talkative since the employees knew their managers manager was in a loquacious mood they predicted the meeting would be a long one so they just knew that the manager was in a talkative mood and they predicted that the meeting would be a long run okay so this is how you use the word loquacious i hope you like this lesson thanks for watching guys if you have got any questions regarding this lesson do let me know in the comment section or at unacademy digest thank you so much for watching keep learning